for Tigers. We're going to see a safe lane in your dream faceless void. They've got to be careful to spin. They're going to bring in Boomy as well. Maybe Moon's going to go down here to fish. Being held and gets his first blood on the Moon Meander. Should be fine, but we go right back in the top and then we take out Triant. Weaver going to be trying to get something in return, but Chen's here as well. So Boomy has to throw out a double little fissure. Hits everybody. Going to heal up onto Winter Wyvern. Now Weaver's by himself. They need to be able to get more damage done, but in comes Earthshaker again. Maybe with some Chen Totem. He went. There you go. They nail Zephyr to the ground. And now they need 1, 4, 3, 7. Another sun onto Moomy. And a Trian's back just trying to slow people down. They need a kill on Tigers. They need to get somebody, but 1, 4, 3, 7 will lose his life. Earthshaker wrapping around the other side of the fissure. Doesn't have enough mana, but he does now. They give him the mango, and he needs a fissure to land, but he can't throw it. Tiny making him a first rotation of the game. Go in the black hole. Face was void straight away. The avalanche to toss in the air. The damage is enough. Zephyr getting ready to go. He needs a target. Went to Wyvern. Arctic Burn are going to get the fissure and hold both of them down. The swarm is on both of them, but now Axe is going to come and call. He gets Trin. Does not get Earthshaker, but the Cold Embrace is going to keep Zephyr alive. Now they need to turn this fight coming out. Battle Hunger onto Weaver. He's going to actually maybe get a kill onto Chen, but he's doing more damage. He should be able to take him out now. Earthshaker coming on in. Shockwave does land both times on the Earthshaker, but now Tiny's here. A little bit more damage. Avalanche to Cold Embrace with a toss. A little bit more damage. They're going to actually heal up Chen. The Creeps in the back line is going to do damage to Tiny. They're just going to aim the other Shockwave. But they use the Chronosphere. And Allison should go down in your dream. Almost got a kill. They need another proc to come out. But it's not going to get any. Tiny's going to live and actually throw him back in the Earth Shake. And they get the kill. It's the big retreat. He's going in. He needs to find somebody. He doesn't have a Blink Dagger. I believe he has to walk the slow way. But Lena's on the back line trying to blow up Trin. The Sentry is there. They need more vision. But now Zephyr going to be able to take down Trin. But the Black Hole onto two. It's got in your dream. They've got the stun onto Enigma. And now they're going to blow up Boca Reno. But Earth Shake at the Chronosphere. On to Earthshaker as he comes in, gets that kill on the back line. Zep found Weaver. They're going to hold him in place with the Winter's Ghost and just Tigers getting this done. So maybe they could initiate them behind. But Moon's going to come in. They've smoked up. It's one Frank. They found Tiny with a nice little call. They need to bomb up right at the start. But Nice Fissure comes in. Locks it out. They're going to get the Overgrowth onto three. And now Pokerino and the Echo Slam and the Black Hole onto Tigers. Just melting Moon, melting Argent apart. They've got two kills and now they want more. But it's actually a four man smoke coming out. Roll Admiral, they're gonna go forward. Weaver's coming in. Tiny on the high ground, they might find in your dream. Trent's found him. He knows exactly where he is. He might hold him in place just for this fight, but they need to bomb up fast. Swarm comes out, Stun comes in, tossing the air and everything. They've blown faces for it up, and now they need more. They've got the black hole, but it was on nothing. And now Moon is running away. They tip him straight up. Winter's curse on the dream, protected the board back on the face of Void. But on the other side, they're gonna get the Chronosphere onto two. They need more damage coming in. They've already blown up dream protected, but they need the big man as well. Allison still alive. Echo Slam on the back, but the Call is on nothing. But Carino blinks on in, gets the Melfits on to face the sword again. But Lena's still alive with the double damage. Weaver's trying to get a kill on sidewise, but they're actually going to go for Bocarino. Tiny in position, just trying to get a stun. He needs to blink to come off. He goes on the back line and just tries to blow up face with Void, and that's a dieback. 70 seconds away for In Your Dream, and now they need more fights. They've got the Midnight Pulse down. Moon is slowly getting eaten away, but he just gets out. But on the back lines, they're going to lose one, four, three, seven. Weaver's going to kill. They toss Earthshaker onto Axe again. Now Winter Wyvern's buying back. Axe gets called onto Tiny, but it's just going to seal his own death. And now they keep going in. Weaver's dancing. they found Argent again. Tiny's going to toss him in the air, and that's another kill. But no to Cold Embrace just in time. The Swarm on him. Enchant Totem again. Hold in place. Everything. They're blown up Argent. And that's three big kills. Just staying in there. Means they can't do it. But on the other side, they're actually going to jump on. Just go for 1, 4, 3, 7. Blow him up from the start. But the Winter's Curse does land. They don't get the Chen ult in time. But Zephyr going to get taken down completely by Weaver. On the back lines, they're going to keep on fighting. They've got the... They've got the Chronosphere onto Enigma just before the Black Hole. And they're going to try and take him out, but he's dead. Enigma's gone, but the Echo Slam's on two. And that's going to melt in your dream. Moon Meander's is going to be eaten alive too, and that's a team wipe. It's back up, but this is a big thing they need to watch out. The Black Hole is ready. Zephyr has found Enigma, but on the back line, they found Earthshaker. And that's even bigger. They need to watch the blink of the Black Hole. They're going to get the Black Hole onto two. Moon's going to be down, but the Winter's Curse is even better. It goes on the Boca Reno. Weaver's in the front lines. Talib's trying to get a kill, but Dream Protector. Fissure comes in. They're going to get the Melon Pits on the lane. It should be a free kill on here. They almost got it, but the Chrono Spear onto two. They need to be able to get Enigma. Enigma, they got the increased damage. Dream Protector. Can't do much to save him. Oh, he's really going to be careful. Actually, going to jump on the Argent, blow him up and straight. They can't even save with the Gen ult. And now Zephyr on the back lines. Moon gets the call onto Earthshake. Hold in place with a black hole onto three. They're just going to melt everyone apart. The Winter's Curse isn't going to stop Bocarino from doing damage. In Your Dream did get out. Tiny is so tanky. Can they do it? On the back lines. In Your Dream comes in, gets 
the Chrono onto three now because Bocorito blinked on in. Act blinks on into the Chrono and gets a call onto two. Gonna be able to take out Weaver, but that's the Aegis. Needs to take out Enigma within the Midnight Pulse is doing damage to Moon Meander. It's gonna melt him down slowly, and the damage is enough to take out Moon as well. Bocorino blinks in aggressively. They're found in your dream on the back line. Zephyr's respawned back up. Lincoln Sphere onto Weaver. He's still doing damage. They've taken out one Rex. There is one left between them and Mega Creeps. Allison going in. Gonna smack down the tree, but they jump on 1357 again and take him out. They're gonna get the proc from the time lock, but it's not enough. They're just gonna blow up Lino at saying, and they get GG is called by Tigers. The Echo Slam, the BKB dodge, but they can't sell this game. Game one goes to Admiral. Tigers need this game to stay in the qualifiers now, but that means the top lane, there's going to be another fight. Moon Meander going to try and get it. He does sneak on in, but does he get it? No. Juggernaut gets it. Now he's going to be spun down and slowed down. Moon getting lower and lower. The right click's coming in. The Never Blast not going to slow him down. That's going to be first blood onto Moon again. Boomy going to wrap around. They're going to spin a little bit early, but they might find Zephyr on the sideline. They need to hold him down. Enchant Turner coming in, but they will instant him in place. But the Omni Slash and the D Crab stops the damage. Zephyr's still alive. Another Enchant Turner coming in. The Never Talk. They're going to Life Drain away. Way. The Winter Wyvern and Zephyr's still alive. All this moment, another stun comes in. And Juggernaut needs to run. Talib's on the run. He's going to be slowed down with it. The crap, they do a fissure in one second. Hold in place. Another blast, but the fissure takes him out. Zephyr underwater vision though, might pick him in there, but now Juggernaut gonna come in, John gonna try and spin in the instant, he's gonna be held in place, but now they're gonna keep the life onto Zephyr, he's gonna get three man up, but the spin's still going. Zephyr should go down here, Nevis Blast is gonna come out again, but Earthshaker running distractions right now, Moon needs to get out. Now the Nevis Blast coming in, everyone's getting lower, they did kill Bokarino again, but now Jagiro's in, maybe for a double kill here, they're gonna get Cold Embracing and Sand comes down, Never Nevis Blast gets Winter Wyvern, and now Nagra and Jungle to run. They're going to actually find Nagasarin in the trees. Number Never Boss should almost do it. Just dodge it, and now he's going to TP out. The Ice Blast, perfect. 1, 4, 3, 7, nails him in the end. they got to get, get decrapped, the life drain. <laughs> but they let him burn. Jakiro, Ice Blast, going to get the healing wall to keep these creeps alive. Zephyr holding on. He needs to fish, but they're going to get Jakiro at least. They know he's dead, but they want to find now. In your dreams coming in. Arjun on the back line, trying to find somebody, but they've already taken out Jagiro. Gonna get the creep up, and the Echo Slam just blows Jug away. The song doesn't save him, but now we're gonna get the black hole onto three. The song a little bit late, but now it got cancelled. He got stunned, and then they're gonna get a kill on the other way. Enigma Bloodseeker going down, and Naga Siren needs to get the hell out. Bull Lightning right on in. Arjun's found his target. Star Storm to seal the deal, but Bloodseeker in position, ready to go. They're actually going to find Moon. They're going to hold him down for the ensnare. They need the rupture as well. They're going to silence him up so he can't be crap. He just gets a doogie crap just before he silence, but the Echo Slam on two. Bocarino is actually in fist, and on the back line does get the black hole onto two. Storm just falls on in. They're just going to disarm him and take him out as well. He gets no kills with that black hole. The Winter's Curse needs to land, but he just holds it, and Storm just dives on in, gets that kill. Winter Wyvern getting slowed down. The Ice Path is a little bit off, but the Winter's Curse just saves his life. Fissure to block his way to safety and Winter Wyvern dies again. Tigers, they've got the Moonlight Shadow, they're gonna be in Viz. He's gonna break Naga Siren, is there to get the fissure on him? They're gonna go back, but they're gonna actually drain him. It's Storm just jumps on in, but now to beat the black hole from Enigma. Jump on in, but they're actually draining the life back into Storm to keep him at full HP. Ward does go down, now Storm is fine. Midnight Pulse, they're not even fighting in it. The BKBs have all been popping, now Storm's gonna go back in. He dives in the back, line's actually gonna find Bloodseeker. That's the one he wants, but the Echo Slam on the Jug is gonna hold him back. Storm gets out. But Morana goes back in. Same with Jakiro. Song being pumped. They need a bigger target. They're going to find who? They're going to find Moon and Jakiro. Rock is dropped. Then Moon dodges it and actually blinks forward. They're actually going to get everybody out. Bloodseeker, Enigma, Naga. And Jug's the only survivor. The Yule Scepter in the air. The Enchant Totem. The Storm coming back. And Team White. On to Admiral. Enigma's not back for 15 seconds. Butterax, gone. Time's actually found Nagasarin. They're gonna jump on him straight away. Juggernaut's gonna be spinning in the back line. going on mode. They've already taken out Nagasarin. Nagasarin's got no buyback. Bloodseeker's been found. He dude, popped his dust. The BKB to blame out, but he's dead as well. No buyback on him. 105 seconds. The Winter's Curse being held out. He Can they do it? In your dream. Taking down a tower pretty quick. They need to get in position. Enigma walking in. He is smoked up and ready to go. They've got the fissure on, but the black hole is going to land on the storm. But Juggernaut still taking damage in the macro fight. They're going to be draining all the life back in the storm, but they're going to take out Jug. He can't save his life, and Enigma just can pop two. And good game it is cool. Game two goes to Tigers. The third game, the final decided between Tiger and Admiral. 
Moving back in, going for 40, he's pinging him out. Silence is going to get held in. Fisher, nice, blocks off his path, but he can just get back in the lane. They've got the Arcane Curse, but Marana jumps on in onto Moon they've got the last word onto him as well. That's a lot of damage. Marana jumps into tower range, and she could lose her own life for this. Another tower shot coming through, the right clicks enough, and they get first blood. But Zephyr making the first rotation of the game does have the Infiz rune. Dark Willow, ooh, might get found out here. Level 3, quick smack with the Fisher should be enough to do it. Smash down. Power treads on the courier, they just chain. Chaining away the creep, but he's still leading the charge. They've got the Shadow Realm, the Bail Mates on the back line. They're going to actually get Shakira as a 1 for 3, 7 does go down, but they might even get Dark Will instead. She should go down for a kill for Indian Dream, but they bring in Silencer as well, and Zephyr, and Moon Meander. Everybody, they found Silencer. They're going to hold him in place. He does cut the tree down, and he should be chased down by Zephyr. They've got in Chance Tony, but they don't even need him. He's saying in the back line, they throw the arrow. The Bramble Maze, he actually just walked straight into it. They're going to jump on him, they need more magical damage, but they're going to TP in that boat, trying to get a return kill with the Moonlight Shadow. They need Reaper Cyber, should be enough damage, and they take down Morana. If he farms it, he's dead. Zephyr, wrap it around. They're going to get the shape to and just run straight in. Ward Vision down. Fisher comes in. Injian Totem now life is going to be alive. They've got the Global Silence, but they've got the Black Hole onto the two. They're not dying yet. They need the reinforcements. Timber is running in, but Necrophos is going to be faster. Terrorize comes in. Fears the like of these moves. They fast should go down to Timber Silver. Now Necrophos wants something to return. They've got the Shadow Realm. They should get Zephyr by the Echo Slam. He's going to hold him back. He sacrifices his life for a free kill onto Dark Willow. And now Necrophos needs to get out. He's being chained down, but Nature's probably coming in. The one on charge with the Ghost Shroud, gets him the full HP again, and they're just holding back Timbersaw. He goes down to Necrophos again, a double kill with the Battle Discord. They just need to get the Silence of the Man's level 7. Just yields him in the air. One death multi, Ice Puff, and this man, Necrophos, is eating your team alive. To bank that one in, it's actually Dark Willow going to be rooted down too. They might even need to go Shroud to slow him down. Yep, slow him down with Buckaroo is going to come in. They're going to move me on the back line. They might even try for Bro Black Hole. He does go for it, but he doesn't use it. Bokarino popped his BKB for this, but they're going to run for him. Lycan's going to come in, just trying to eat him alive. He's still got the black hole. He could turn around and do it, but he's just going to die instead. The man doesn't have buyback. Not even him. Marana's actually dying in the mid lane. They've been caught him at the fission. Move me out and seals that kill. And now your base is going down. Lycan's just pushing. Everybody's coming back. Dark Lord's going to put the brown blades down, but Lycan doesn't even care. He's just going to keep on hitting down for the first round. Onto him, he will get stunned up, and then he'll just go right back in. Well, I can keep on pushing. They need to hold him back, but he's so tanky. Timbersaw. Well, I try for it, but he's just going to get rotted down. He's got the bloodstone. He's going to be careful if he keeps on dying. But if he just walks in time, we got five seconds. But actually fighting already. They're actually going to get the black hole onto two. Moon Meander. Necrophose. They're going to actually take that move straight away. He doesn't have buyback. Necrophose is going to get caught out. He's going to tear it up and gets cut down to size. Zephyr on the back line. He's going to be taken out by Timbersaw. Just cut down, that's three people instantly gone. They did get silence on the back lines. They've got like still fighting, but he needs to get out. He's got the shape he's gonna run out. They're gonna try to go from Murata, but he jumps to the lower ground, gonna try and get to Kiro too. They're gonna cut that dragon and at They've got to be careful here, Zephyr. In the back lines, does have the Echo Slam. They might be able to find Necrophos, and that's a big kill. The Bramble Maze will hold him in place. They need more damage. He's just going to yield up here. The arrow comes on through, but he yields again and dodges it into a chakra. The fear comes out. The Ghost Shroud already being used. They need more battle and damage, but they force stuff him out to safety. It does sign up to Kira, but they just jump on in with Lycan. The BKB is in pop, they're going to get Black Hole onto two, but there's an Aegis onto Lycan. So you've still got to take him out. Moon on the back line is going to be taking out Morana, but they're going to get the Echo Slam onto two. Two, holding down Timber, he's silenced up with the Orchid. He does get the Lotus Orb to break that silence, but they need more damage to hold the place. But the cheese is eaten by Moon, he's still fighting, he knows last word's on him, but he doesn't even care. He just keeps beating down the Timber Man and cuts him to size. He denies himself, but they have no way to cancel TP on Silence, and he just gets out. Just one cent sentry, but they're gonna actually find him. They've got the Veil on him, more damage coming out, he just has to run away with Boko Reno. Hanging in the trees, waiting for his perfect time to initiate. He needs to save the black hole, but they're going to chain in onto Necrophose, but he heals him up instantly. Both are going to come in, stun up Necrophose, he moves forward. The force up comes out, but the BKB has been popped. He needs the black hole, but it whips! Bocorino whips it in, and it just go for him. They eat Enigma alive. They've taken down Zephyr on the backside, but Morana needs to do the damage right now. They're going to lose Bocorino, and now Morana's trying to take down Necrophose, but the man still has Ghost Shroud, I believe. No, it's on silence. He's gone down. They've killed Necrophose. He doesn't buy back instantly, buys back, and now... Timber Saw's trying to TP out the new way to but he just denies himself. He knows he's dead. He's got buyback, but Enigma's back. Here we go, Fisher, everything, Echo Slam. This is going to blow up. The black hole is good. It's on to three, but this is the Refresher. They need to use it twice, and they're going to get it. Everybody is melting on Radiant. The Refresher going to be used. The second black hole going to come in, but they've already killed Necrophos. They're brought back on Earthshaker. The second black hole comes on in, and it's good. 
They're just melting Moon. And Necro throws the part. He bought back for this. And he's going to go down. No buyback. Morana going to get taken down by Lycan at least. Maybe Timbersaw as well. The Ice Path going to hold him in place. They're going to get another kill. The buyback on Dark Willow straight away. Timbersaw going to get held down and taken out too. And you haven't even got it yet. Another stun. The arrow doesn't miss. You might even lose Lycan for this. He does have it for the Echo Slam on the Morana. That's massive. You can just take down the Gat Lady. She's going to go down and Nygma needs to get back. Massive Echo Slam coming out from Zephyr. Just lands perfectly and now they can finally take the base guard. Just trying to keep everybody back. But they're going to hex up Enigma. Take him out with another stun. That's Ruby side He's gone. That is the instant buyback coming out though. But Timbersaw just getting surrounded by everybody. Can't save any with But the Fissure blocks that link. They're taking down the last gear for some swords. They're still in But they've got the back on. No, Midnight Pulse Black Hole onto one. Single. Like it. But they rip apart Bocarino. And now Moon at least is going to go down to all the Eidolons. But Silencer just going to get melted down by Chikiri with nice little Ice Path and Dual Breath. But they've already taken down Allison on the backside. And hopefully a kill on these styles. Take him down. They don't even need anything more for that. GG is cool. And Tigers take the bet. That was a good game.